My name is Nova Hall, and I am the producer and, I guess, visionary for Flying Over Time, the exhibition, which is based on the Spear St. Louis and my grandfather. 1927, papers could write whatever they wanted. And the lies they wrote about Charlie before the flight sold newspapers. Wow. <laughs> Tonight went incredible. I'm an artist myself and I really love to see everybody else's work and I'm just blown away with what he with what he can do. I think it's a storybook. I could look at it for hours. I wish I could be able to find such a treasure in my family. I was fortunate enough to be chosen to portray Donald Hall Sr. I am the grandson of Donald Albert Hall who designed the Spirit of St. Louis in 1927. What we hope to do and we plan to do is craft a curriculum, a, a true teaching curriculum that will allow students, artists, those who are more interested in the science and the hard sciences, to really come together and work collectively in a way that will teach. For those of you who don't know what Spear St. Louis is, it came down to a flight. This flight occurred in 1927 when Charles Lindbergh, a 25-year-old air mile pilot, successfully flew from Roosevelt Field to Le Bourget, Paris. In 1999, I discovered a locked steamer trunk in our family garage. What's fascinating about the Spirit of St. Louis is that over half of the plane's weight was fuel. The Spear St. Louis had no front window. It had a giant fuel tank. So Charles Lindbergh, as he was flying, he literally could not see anything. He had to look out the sides and, and adjust the control. I never met my grandfather. He passed away in 1968. And in the process of writing my, my book, that was when I started to understand who he was. I'm inspired. I'm inspired by events that allow me to, to put an image onto paper or canvas that will, will convey to the viewer something different so they actually take something away.